Hello, um, my name is uh, Peter Bradley. I'm the General Manager of Clever Culture Systems. And I'm here today with uh, Dr. Hilma Wisplinghoff from uh, Labor Dr. Wisplinghoff in Cologne, who has recently uh, presented a poster at ECMID 2021. G'day Hilma, can you tell me, you know, in um, bite-sized chunks, what uh, the uh, overview of the poster was and uh, the summary of the findings that uh, you presented? Obviously, good day, Peter. Um, yeah, the, the work um, we were presenting um, was actually done by, by Dr. Desmati in, in our lab, and um, she presented the results. We were looking at different chromogenic media to detect MRSA, and we're using the, the APIS classifiers to do the plate reading, um, comparing it to experienced microbiology personnel to, to see whether we can improve the reading or not, and um, also to see how fast we could implement new classifiers. So Hilma, you worked uh, very closely with the Clever Culture Systems teams to uh, to develop this mo module. What was your experience like working with the team? Um, we have a terrific team and a lot of very dedicated people. Um, I was I was quite impressed that honestly I didn't didn't quite believe when they told me how fast they would be able to adopt um, an existing classifier to a new media because it's in, in my opinion is a completely new kind of plate and for the computer it's new colors it's pretty much new everything um and sensitivity wise that was like very fast and then i think they did a great job in, in always like coming back and having very close feedback with us um what kind of images they would need to to further increase specificity um getting back to the poster uh the results showed uh, no false negatives uh leading to a high sensitivity and a negative predictive value of uh, 100%. Um, do you want to comment on what that means to, to your laboratory and to your patients? Well, as I said, obviously the uh, sensitivity is the most important part in a screening process because you want to be very sure not not to miss anything. Um, so I think that was that was obviously the the main objective, and that was fast and and reliably done um, from a laboratory perspective perspective obviously um, it's very nice to have a very high degree of specificity as well because it eliminates additional work in the laboratory and I'm glad to say that we were able to improve that quite a bit over the short period of, of time we did this study and um, from past experiences um, we're quite confident that we can further improve specificity as well. Uh, the APAS independence is a modular design and it's not like a total lab automation solution um, how do you see that modularity uh, add or detract from the utility of the instrument compared to other automated systems? I think it's a very great feature because pretty much what you can do is to take that part of the process, the plate reading and sorting, which the APIS is, is able to automate. You kind of take whatever has been doing that, remove it, put the APIS in its place and continue doing what you're doing. So there is, is no need to change your procedures there's no need to redesign the lab or to redesign the workflow it's just instead of putting the plates before somebody to read them you put them in the apis and you get the results so i think it's it's very easy to flawlessly integrate the apis for any kind of plate reading process you want to automate so um, thank you very much uh, hilma for sharing your experiences with us um, we uh, we certainly uh, have enjoyed working with you um, and uh, look forward to, uh, to more uh, projects in the future and, uh, and some more uh, posters and presentations and uh, hopefully um, the opportunity to uh, see each other in person soon. Peter, thank you very much from, from me and, and our team and especially to, to your team for the great work and the great assistance during this project and looking, looking forward to presenting more data next year.